Hello, hello, it's Brandy Janae. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. In today's video, I'm going to be setting up my December monthly in my Hobonichi cousin, and I'm so excited. So go ahead, like this video, subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so, and I'll be back. Okay, <laughs> you guys, I'm so excited. When I tell y'all, I have been like just touching it and looking at it and thinking about it for like ever. It feels like, even though it really hasn't been that long, but in my mind, it's been like 100 years. So I'm so excited to go ahead and set up the December monthly because I can, even though this book doesn't actually start until January. But you know, why, why leave December out there just out there why when you can just decorate it and then my hobonichi actually i can start working on at the end of november which for me is coming up very soon so i'm filming this video freakishly early just because i have some time and i want to kind of get it out the way but i will be adding to this i'm sure as the month progresses like I said, this is very early November. I think it's like the 15th or 16th or something. I don't even remember. I'm not wearing my watch. So anyway, today, here is the December spread. I'm going to be using this kit from Plan for Happy, which is a shop on Etsy. And it is a printable kit. So it comes with the months, which I think are so, so pretty. Like I love these colors. And then you have these icon stickers and I did already take that one off, which is why it's missing. I'm kind of turn it this way because they're like going in a hundred directions. So I love these. Like I think they're so cute. And then it comes with this sheet, which I'm not really sure what these are because they printed off and cut in a row. I don't think that's what's supposed to happen, but eh, such is life. I don't really need them anyway because I don't really write that much about monthly because to be perfectly honest with you, I don't really refer to it all that often, but my goal this year <laughs> is to do better about referencing the monthly. And then I have this like washi, some more, this is like the sidebar sticker, which I think is super cute. And then some more like labels. And as you can see, I've already gone ahead and pre-written those down just for the sake of time. So I'm going to go ahead and start with, I've never used this kit. Let me just obviously, so we're going to hope <laughs> that it fits, but I don't know for sure. I can tell you, though, that this seller is very kind. I was having some issues with printing it yesterday. It's a little bit longer than it needs to be, but I think it's fine. I would probably just go the other way next time, and I can certainly, like, chop that part off a little bit. But anyway, I was having some issues with cutting yesterday and so she ended up like refunding <laughs> my order which I was super sad about today when I actually got up to like try it again because of course when they refund your order you loot you know like it, it's canceled it's gone so I was so sad because a I asked her not to refund the order because I figured you know it was probably an issue that could be fixed but I think she just felt bad because I couldn't get it to work and so she went ahead and just did it anyway so I was super sad when I realized like oh no it's canceled like I can't because I was like oh I'll just cut it I like to cut on my Cricut I prefer to cut on the Cricut if you've been here a while you know my silhouette woes so I do prefer whenever possible to use the Cricut and this particular kit when I tried to do it yesterday I just couldn't get it to cooperate and so I was like okay I gave up because I was just frustrated and I'm like planning is not supposed to be frustrating for me it's supposed to be my happy place so whenever I'm doing something and it makes me irritated I just I quit and then I'm like I'll try again tomorrow so anyway I went and tried to download the stickers again 
and I couldn't because it was canceled. So luckily, obviously I had already downloaded it into the Cricut software. And so I attempted to cut it again. And this time for the printing, I left the bleed on and it cut perfectly. So I don't know yesterday, like, I don't know yesterday what was happening, but it was just being very difficult. So anyway, I have it. I was able to use it, so I was excited about that. And I actually went ahead and ordered some more kits from her shop today. Because there's like, a, she has some stickers in this like $2 sale. So I went ahead and ordered some more today just to have for future for weeklies because for the monthlies i did buy the ones from the coffee monsters co which i did do an unboxing of those i believe so i think i'm pretty sure i did so go ahead and go search for that video i'll try to remember to leave it up in the cards but anywho so that is that which is super cute i'm gonna put this bottom washi here. Yeah, so everything seems to be a little bit uh, longer, which is okay. I just have to be a little bit more gentle with this slice tool because this paper is very thin and I don't want to accidentally cut through it obviously but I think it's so pretty I just loved the colors I love the patterns like I just thought it was really really pretty and again this planner really doesn't start until January. So I'm just setting up the monthly because I just want to play with it. <laughs> and it's really good practice, like it's really a good practice run for when I start using it in January. So yeah. Oh gosh, you guys, this paper is so, so, so sensitive. I think I literally cut right through that. Sure did. Hmm, okay. <laughs> I am going to get this figured out eventually. See, that's what I'm talking about, it's good practice. All right, so I should have put this down first and then I wouldn't even have had to worry about that. I like this down here at the bottom. Okay. Oh my goodness. You guys, I cut a hole in the middle of the paper. Oh, and I don't even know. I don't even think there is a way. I'm just going to put a little, I'm going to just put a little piece of tape on the back because I don't want that to become larger issue and I don't really plan on using these pages so it's not that big of a deal and yeah if I do decide to use these pages I'll probably just be using this section anyway so it's not that big of a deal but I don't want it to rip more or anything like that so there we go now that's all covered up and beautiful let's see I think I'm going to just leave this here because, oh, well, yeah, but I will put this, mm, maybe I'll cover it up. I'll put this here just because I think it's so pretty and I don't want to not use it. And I could maybe cover. Oh, yeah. That's cute. And I'm going to leave that full size because I don't want to risk. <laughs> I don't want to risk trying to cut it again. 
All right, so I know that on the third, I have a craft fair that I will be participating in, which is the third and the fourth. I'm gonna use those and then I think I will use these. I don't know where I put my tweezer, tweezers at y'all. And you know what's crazy? It's because I legit have like 47,000 pairs of tweezers. And then whenever I'm looking for a set, I can never find them. Like, I don't know where I put them. I think I do too many things in too many different places. Okay, so here's some. Not the ones I wanted, but they will work. So I think I'm just going to use these little... One of you, I'll just put, yeah, I'll just use the little shopping bags because that's the whole point is for people to shop. So as you, again, if you have been around, you know, I had a sticker shop. I closed said sticker shop, but I do still have, <laughs> obviously, uh, quite a bit of inventory left over. So I will be selling those things as well as some like other craft items that I'll be making at the craft fair. So yeah. So we have, I have a doctor's appointment. I know we are having girls day on the 18th. And I'm using a big box because I don't know for sure what time or where, but that will more than likely be all that I do for the day. So let's put, hmm, I don't know what these are. I don't know what these are. But, oh, I'll just use a little bow because that's cute. So, yeah, we'll just put this little bow here for Girls' Day. So, this way I have enough space to write the day and the time. You know, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Oh, no, maybe not. Mm -mm, too close. Okay, never mind. So, I'm using my phone so I don't have, like, the cool fancy zoom like people that have their um, use cameras. <laughs> So that's way too close. So on the 16th, so excited, you guys. Avatar comes to theaters. Avatar is literally my very favorite movie of all time. Like, I have probably watched that movie more than I've watched, like, any other movie in my entire life. There was actually an entire summer when, like... You know how you have those times where you're just like in your feeling like I was just in this funk for this particular summer and Avatar was like the only thing that would like bring me to a happy place. <laughs> and so I pretty much watched it like every single day that summer, which is so funny. But yeah, I just I love it. It would help me like rest. It would help me ease my mind. It helped me kind of focus on more of the positive things and the happy moments and you know just to like value life and the good parts of life and just all of that stuff and I know it's probably weird to some people because it's like it's just a movie but for me it just it's just so beautiful and it symbolizes such beautiful things to me so I'm looking forward to the 16th. I'm going to try really hard not to take that day off to go watch it because I get off early enough that I can go watch it <laughs> after work, but I'm just so excited. So, and then, so yeah, doctor's appointment on the 21st. I have our winter break at school starts on the 23rd, which I'm a little in my feelings about because we had a different time I think I don't know anyway I feel like break has gotten shorter so I'm a little 
in my feelings about that. But I am going to use this washi because I will literally be off for the rest of this week. And I'm not going to mark the weekends because obviously I would already be off on the weekends. And then this washi came from the Happy Planner. And it's from the Homebody Collection. And it just says, like, let's stay home. Because that's honestly pretty much what I do for most of winter break. Because it's cold and it's snowing. And I'm just, I'm not a fan of outside in general. Because <laughs> I'm, like, allergic to everything. But I'm even less of a fan of outside when it's cold. So, and then I'm going to go ahead and just, nah, I'll save a little backpack, I think, for next month because i'm gonna have to write this again all right so let's see i think that is all of the things that i know for sure i need to mark over here i want these to be i think i'm gonna put bills over here i'm gonna try y'all i'm just so bad at like budgeting and billing and i'm just terrible it's like every month it's like oh snap i forgot to pay that not forget to pay the bill but ooh, forgot that was coming <laughs> uh you would think as a grown-up <laughs> i would have figured it out by now but unfortunately I, the budgeting and bill you uh thing is just not <laughs> it's just not my ministry so I am going to try to do better. All right. And then this is Christmas and Christmas Eve, which I know last year was like, last year was rough because my son is an adult now. He's in the Air Force. And so honestly, it's just like, whatever. Like, <laughs> I just don't, I don't know. I just have lost the like motivation for it, if that makes sense. So I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how this, how this year goes. So I'll split this bill section up. So I have like the regular bills and then I'll put like credit card bills down in this section. I know at some point, like, I'm going to go get my nails done. I know at some point I'm going to obviously go grocery shopping. I'm going to have to get an oil change. All those things. I just don't know when as of yet. So, I want to add these little deco stars because I think they're precious. And I can use those to cover up these dates. That are not important and well not that they're not important but they're previous months <laughs> or future months but mostly because I just think they're cute all right so there is that and there is that I don't I'm trying to remember if there's any birthdays I don't even have like my perpetual calendar with me so I'm not really sure so yeah I think for now I'm just gonna leave this alone so this is what I have left from this kit so lots of icons which I absolutely love icons so this page will certainly not go to waste then I have this which I still don't know what these are for and then a few boxes left on this sheet and then of course all of the months which again will certainly not go to waste so anyway, go check out planforhappy.etsy.com. Get you some printables. I'm super excited about them. Tell them, tell her that Brandy sent you. And um, I don't have any coupon codes or anything. Sorry about that. But it's still a great shop. And I think that you should support it. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this setup. I know I enjoyed making it. I'm so excited to get into the Hobinichi. And I look forward to filming more Plan With Me's in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Go check out the next video that YouTube recommends and I'll see you next time.